are getting personal with our guests today. We're hearing how they stay true to themselves to reach their goals. And we're talking to mogul Bethany Frankel, and she's talking about her newest book, Business is Personal, The Truth About What It Takes to Be Successful While Staying True to Yourself. We were talking about the departure from the Housewives franchise and the things there. And you talk about in the book, page 166. <laughs> if something doesn't work culturally for me, I won't do it financially. You said there's no amount of money that you could pay me to work with people who have a negative and toxic work culture. <laughs> you know, of course, I, I, I watch the franchise, but it is built on negative I and toxic culture. So why not leave sooner? And why did you ever join? I joined because I had $8,000 in my bank account and a $2,000 a month or $2,600 a month rent. So the money. I joined because it was an opportunity. I, I, I thought I could maybe be something and I wanted to be a natural food chef and I thought I could showcase that. So I joined because of that. It also was a different show then. You don't, don't forget, we were wearing our own sweaters yeah. and had, yeah, our, had was, no makeup on and we yeah. were just being human beings interacting and having a conversation in a bar was a dramatic argument. We weren't, you know, we weren't like running into other people's cars, bankruptcies, jail. Like it wasn't as crazy as it is now. It's really outlandish now. Um, and it evolved. I left after three seasons and I came back because I did miss the connection with the audience yeah. and the humor. Um, and yeah, the money was a big part of it as it got, as it grew. It was a lot of money and you couldn't make that anywhere else. And I walked away. Um, I, the money would have been the reason I stayed. I walked away because I wanted to feel good about myself and I had gotten to a position where I didn't have to do that. Are you stunned by the scandals? I feel like every time I look at like a, an entertainment blog, somebody's going to jail or it's, someone's husband is going to jail. Well, it's crazy. What is that? It's bizarre because in our normal lives, we don't know 10 people that have gone to jail, infidelity, Well, I do a crime like, show. I do like, a crime uh, show. I know 10 people. No, personally, But, but no. It's, it's a lot and it's a lot of like, Fraud stuff. I know. It's a lot of fraud because I'll tell you why. Because the show, the premise is, and I was the only one in the first season that didn't have money or wasn't pretending to have money or Ferraris or all this uh. stuff that's rented and not even really real. It's all show and no go. So I was down here with no money and being honest about yeah. that. But when you have a show that is built on showing wealth, yeah. it's important for the people who want to be on the show and want to be famous to show that they're wealthy. So not right. everybody's wealthy. So if you have to show it, you're going to get jammed up by, yeah. you know, by, by, okay. by having to find ways to show it.